السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وقفا وصلاۃ وسلام علی نبی المصطفیٰ ولا علیہ و صحب ولسدق ولبفا عم بعد قول اللہ تعالیٰ فی القرآن الکریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کل جاء الحق و ازاک الباطل ان الباطل کا نزہو کا صدق اللہ مولانا مصدق رسول الکریم جو بدیس respected teachers, honorable judges, and other esteemed persons. Today, I'm so privileged and proud to be here with you. Now I'm here to say some words about the big subject, lessons from Fatah Mecca. So first and foremost, I praise the Almighty Allah, who blessed me with this opportunity, Alhamdulillah, Kulli Hal. Dears, Fatah Mecca is a glorious event in the world history. The world has never witnessed an event like Fatah Mecca. Because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam showed the mankind that a complete revolution is possible without any bloodshed. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam entered Mecca with 10,000 soldiers and conquered it completely. But even a single drop of blood did not fall on the face of earth. Because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the man of perfection. He was the man of mercy. He was the man of revenge. As far as Fatah Mecca is concerned, one year ago, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sahaba had signed the Hudaybiyah Treaty with Quraysh. According to the truth, 10 years of peace was cornerstone and he carried on provoking actions were against the truth. But Quraysh violated the peace treaty and chose the evil path. The great wisdom we get from Fatah Mecca is the extraordinary mercy that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so towards Quraysh. Well, that was an unprecedented even in the history of mankind. The defeated people were those people who made thousands of children orphans and born widows. But Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam forgave them and added a new chapter in the world history. Just the early part of 20th century witnessed two world wars where millions of people were killed brutally in both wars. Even paralyzed children and women were targeted. Day by day, the police became more wars. Most of our countries are spending money for accumulating ammunition. The whole world is under a big challenge. So the police is now looking for a solution. According to my mind, the only one solution is to follow Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in all walks of life. The most important characteristic of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was his mercy. This is the number one message we get from Fatah Mecca. And universal mercy towards all people. Even enemies were not excluded from his mercy. Abu Sufyan and Hind were some of the great leaders of Quraysh who became Muslim during Fatah Mecca. Well, you Hind bin Utaiba also saw the clemency because of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Her hatred of Islam was so great that in the battle of Uzi, extended the heart of Hamza Rilahwano and mysticated it. But Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also forgave her. After the conquest of Mecca, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called upon Uthman bin Talha Rilahwano to open the gate of Kaaba for him. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam stood at the gate of Kaaba surrounded by people and, del and delivered his speech quoting from Quran. يَا يُوَا النَّاسِ إِنَّا أَخْلَقُنَا لَكُمْ مِنْ ذَكْنُ وَأُنْثَى وَجَعْلَكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَكَبَائِلْ لِتَعْرَفُوا إِنَّا أَقْرَمَكُمْ إِنْ دَلَّهِ هَتْكَاكُمْ O people, we have created you from a male and female and constituted you tribes that you must know and cooperate each other. In the, in the eye of Allah, the most highest among you is the most virtuous. Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued to say, O people of Christ, what do you think we are about to do with you? They replied, everything good for a noble brother and son of a noble brother. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Go for your free. Yes, the world has witnessed so many proclamations, but those proclamations were followed by brutal bloodshed and violence. We know that the motto of Prince Revolution was liberty, fraternity, and equality. But later, Louis Sisson and his supporters were brutally glittered, and millions of people were killed under the dictation of all spray. Exactly this is a situation of modern world. But Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is different from all other leaders. He is peculiar with his love and patience. So, dears, the great lesson we get from Fatah Mecca is that universal mercy towards all people. Exactly this is the basic of human development on the face of earth. That is one one way for gradual development on peace and security. So we can follow Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam step by step. May Allah bless us all. I can do her work with Dawan Ali Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum